Hi folks, Colin here from Rock and Hillbillies again. Uh, I'm not going to do a rock and roll guitar lesson today. We're going to have a look at a new guitar that I've just acquired. This is the Gretsch 5034 TFT Rancher. So basically it's an acoustic guitar with a pickup and a Bigsby. Now to me that's pretty much everything you want on a guitar. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a little uh, sort of review of the guitar, a bit of demo. I'm going to show you some of the sounds it makes and I'm going to do a little bit of a contrast with my other acoustic guitar so you can hear what you think in terms of the sort of unplugged sound and whether you consider this to be a, a serious guitar or if it's just a toy because I've heard some people saying that. Uh, I don't agree with that. So that's just a spoiler for you there but um, yeah. Make up your own minds and uh, say what you think in the comments below. I'm not offended easily, so uh, you can be quite frank. Uh, I'll just say what I think. Expect everyone to say what they think. Be respectful, obviously, but uh, I do believe in free speech. So uh, just say what you think. Okay, um, so basically uh, this is a lovely uh, acoustic guitar. And it's got that fantastic uh, polyester finish. Uh, rosewood fretboard and uh, the front is made of uh, arch top maple. The sides are uh, mahogany and the back is mahogany. It's all uh, laminated so you can see it's actually arch topped at the back as well. Um, now I don't know too much about the sort of sources of the timber but I assume it's uh, or I would hope it's sustainably sourced. I know they make uh, they get rosewood from India these days. Uh, I'm not quite sure where they get the maple from and on mahogany obviously sounds not too sustainable but I assume it's coming from a sustainable source so I would really like to know a little bit more about that. I've done a little bit of research but I couldn't find uh, too much information on that so I'd be interested to know about that. Um, it's got the uh, feature, uh, the triangular feature sound hole, which is which is very interesting. It's the tortoise shell pit guard. It's got the yellow finishes. It's got the big spear, as we said. Now I'm not sure if this is a floating bridge, but it's got a rocker bar bridge, which I think is because it's got a a big spear on it. And I don't know if the uh, tunematic bridge would have worked, but it stays in tune quite well. The Bigsby is quite stiff, but that's okay. I've heard people talking and saying that the Bigsby makes a lot of noise. Well, I don't know if you can hear that, but to be honest, uh, not very much noise at all. And why would you move the Bigsby up and down when you're playing? I just don't get that. If you're going to play Bigsby, keep the Bigsby near to where you need it. Don't be moving up and down. That's if that's a way around that, but. That's the way I play anyway. I would always have the Bigs beat where I wanted it uh, to play a song. So uh, let's just play some open chords and let you hear what that sounds like. That's a pretty good acoustic guitar sound. Uh, you may disagree, but uh, I think that's fine. The, the, the fingerboard is actually it's quite narrow. Uh, I think the neck it's a 25 scale, 25 inch scale neck, and the nut width is uh, 42.86 millimeters. So it's quite narrow, and it's quite. Uh, similar to an electric guitar neck. Now I think this guitar probably needs a little bit more of a setup than what it has currently at the moment. Uh, it's just come to me and uh, I probably need to do a little bit of tweaking on the uh, truss rod. But otherwise, it's pretty good I think. Um, what else can I tell you about it? So these, uh, these pickups are known as Fidelitron pickups. Uh, which are humbucking pickups and electric guitar style pickups. Now, what I like about that is you don't have a 9 volt battery or whatever it is to put it in um, that you have on some electroacoustic guitars and you've got that kind of 
uh, three-way equaliser thing on the top. I just think that is really tacky. Uh, call me old-fashioned, but I don't like that. Uh, so I like the fact that this is effectively an electric guitar setup in an acoustic guitar body, which I like. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to play a few chords. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it on my other guitar just to give you a bit of a contrast, which is a conventional acoustic guitar. Now, I don't know about you, I don't think there's a huge amount of difference in tone except perhaps uh, the, uh, the Taylor is a little bit more resonant and part of the reason for that will be the fact that this is quite a narrow bodied guitar, that one's probably about another inch, inch and a half deeper, so um, slightly less resonant but that's also probably because if it was deeper the vibrations would start the to feedback when you're plugged in. I'm going to show you some plugged in tones in a minute. But the, uh, the pickup is actually encased, it's in a sort of uh, like a plastic uh, shield casing inside the guitar and that is uh, supposed to stop the thing feeding back so it's actually isolated from the vibrations of the guitar which, which will help if you're playing at a loud volume. Um, there's also there's a considerable amount of bracing inside the guitar because it was quite a technical challenge for Gretsch to actually get this Bigsby to work without the pressure of it actually just breaking the guitar. So there is a bit of uh, technology in here, a bit of uh, bracing and uh, that obviously slightly um, deadens the acoustic tone but it's still, still pretty good I think. So now I'm going to let you hear some electric tones and see what you think. What do I think about this Gretsch Rancher with a Bigsby? Well, number one, I like this guitar. Uh, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, and looks are very important in rock and roll, I think you'll agree. Uh, I know that if I play this on a stage, uh, it's going to get attention. And uh, I'm not one of those uh, artists, in inverted commas, who think that you shouldn't get looked at if you're playing live. I think performance is a visual thing as much as it is an acoustic thing and so from the point of view of style and uh, glamour shall we say I think this guitar is absolutely amazing and uh, I absolutely love it. And in terms of playability I think it's pretty good, it sounds good and uh, I've heard people saying it's, it's very heavy well I don't agree with that either. I mean, I think I would uh, question if they've had their Weetabix in the morning because uh, it's not heavy. Um, I've certainly got electric guitars that are much heavier than this. 
Uh, yeah. So it's not something I would even notice, to be honest. I, I don't know why they think it's heavy. I do sometimes wonder if some people are making comments and they haven't actually tried the guitar. Mm. They're just assuming that it's heavy because it's got a Bixby. Well, of course, there will be some weight in that, but uh, it's not anything that really I can complain about. Uh, I love the finish. The neck's really smooth. This polyester finish is amazing. Uh, the strap locks, not my favourite to be honest. I don't like these strap locks that you have to screw in and out. I mean, obviously they're very secure. But when you're, you're packing up after a gig, uh, it's just a bit of time that's involved. And the fact they screw off, you have to screw them off completely. If you're, if you're in a darkened room and you lose that, you can be raking around for quite a long time before you find it again. And sometimes it's possible that you even lose it. You don't even realise it's fallen off. Uh, so that's that's not so good. If I may see if I can do something about that in time. But otherwise, yeah, I think it's it's a great guitar. Fun to play. Now you know if 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 fun means it's a toy. Uh, then that's fine with me, uh, but I do think this is a serious guitar and it's one that you could play live quite practically and uh, it's always going to be different, always going to get attention. So yeah, thumbs up for me, not too expensive, well for a, for a guitar that you can play live with, uh, I mean £700, pounds, maybe that is expensive, but I don't buy many guitars, I just buy, buy them every now and again when I want something different, um, but I don't have a don't have a large collection. Uh, I just I just tend to get one or two, and they do me for a long time. And then occasionally I get a new one and get rid of an old one. But I think this one will probably stay with me for a very long time because it's so unique, so different, and it's 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 fun. And that's really for me. That's why we play guitars to enjoy ourselves. Uh, I, I'm not one of these uh, people that believe in sort of slashing your wrist tight music. I think music should be there to lift the spirits and get people dancing. So anyway, hope you find this uh, review uh, of help. Uh, by all means, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it. I'll be back with another guitar lesson very soon. Uh, so keep rocking, keep safe, and uh, we'll see you next time.